Kellyville, Bella Vista, Box Hill, these areas. As stock was coming into these markets, because they were fairly farmlands back in the day and new types of areas were being built, when these new areas were being built, a reputation's being created as they're being built. So at the start, the first round of houses that came to some of these areas, they might not have been as different on their price points because there wasn't a clear establishment of what the suburb represents. Then as time goes on, Schofields might have started to represent common type of property that's just volume, basic repeat house and land package. But then Kellyville might have started to see a few swimming pools come into the mix, some beautiful different finishes, different types of families. Yeah. And then as this starts to expand, different types of people want to continue to live in these areas by those people. Mm. And this gap starts getting created. Because yeah. this is what we call change. This is suburb formation. Yes. The problem with that though, as an investor buyer's agent, there is no data unless yeah. you're so active to really know that change is happening. So this is where you have to be super localized, super specialized, yeah. and um, that's hard. And yeah. you have to be really aware of dollar per square meter rates on new builds and seeing that. There's a reason why I don't advocate for that stuff. It's not because it can't grow. It's because you have to be so in it to know what's happening there to get that right momentum. And you need to know there's a lot of unknowns. What if 20 investors buy the next 22 lots? I don't know that's going to happen. But if it happens, guess what? You're going to have a lot of rental properties show up. Yeah.